Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 27th video in VCP8 data center virtualization 2023 and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an assign VMware tag. Uh, so this is going to be how to creation and assignment both in this video. So why do we need tags? So let's say if you have a large environment and if you want to carry categorize your environment as different different tags let's say if you have a, a servers in production you want to tag them as a production server if you have a uat server you want to tag as a uat if you have a um let's say uh, any any anything you uat productions use anything you want to tag them also you can ta tag based on um use cases like uh, um other other some if you are running v apps if you are running different kind of virtual machine with a different kind of flavors operating system if you are running some host with a specific uh oem like dell dell servers you are running hp server you can tag as a uh, required tags uh, let's say you can create a oem based tags you can create operating system based tags you can create a uh, data store based uh, tag re, uh, resource pool tag so anything as per requirement you can customize your tags and you can assign your tags so let's say if you want if you are fetching the list of production server you will get all the production server virtual machine which is tagged as a uh, production which has a production tag assigned and if you want to run some kind of automation on all your production servers you can run through simply by selecting the tag and also if you have a large environment and if you are doing deployment through some kind of automation tool let's say uh, maybe uh, we realize automation you can use a tag to assign different different type uh, or type of you know automation task and everything so tags are very important and it, it can play some kind of key roles when you have a large environment and you want to achieve something like uh, a few ta tasks with the automation or you want to offload something <coughs> uh, manual activities by assigning tasks like let's say uh, which i mentioned earlier if you want to assign tasks for tags for the production server it can uh, easily identify as your production servers and all so uh, you can see in in picture itself data uh, tags can be created on multiple levels or multiple object virtual machine network host data store cluster cluster folders and almost everything whatever available inside vmware um, infrastructure as an object so this is my environment which i'm going to use in this demo environment to you know, create and uh, assign a tag so i got my domain controller from where i'm taking console of vcenter server infrastructure and then I got my vCenter server appliance which is running version 8 and then I got few ESXi host added to this infrastructure. So if I go here, this is my infrastructure, I got my vCenter server and then uh, 4 ESXi host which we are using since last first video. And then if I go, go here, so uh, the most important thing when you create attacks are uh, first thing you need to create. A, categories so categories means let's say if you have a different categories like um, one tag okay this could be a host i can assign the uh, server oem let's say oem and this is the host base so i can create go ahead and create uh, this category same thing i can go and create uh, vm guest os and then i'll assign this to virtual machine so these are the two categories under under this categories now we can go and assign a tax basically so if i show you here you in under the guest os you have windows servers linux and then you have a sub operating system version so now if i go and show you th these are the tags and if i go here and put the tag name let's say this is going to be a uh, if you want to create sub -cat new category you can create directly from here also so let's say this is uh, windows 2k or win let's say windows server 2019 and then put operating say uh, description if you want to post anything 
and then you can select uh, let's say VM um, guest and then click on create you will see this tag is created under uh, and under this guest OS and same thing you can go ahead and create like let's say uh, you can say it uh, VMware Proton OS so VMware Proton OS you can call it Proton OS just like this and then create in guest so these are the two <coughs> two tags are created under uh, under guest OS and same thing you can go ahead and create like Dell under server OEM you can go ahead and create HP or the server OEM so we got two categories under two categories we got two uh, sub categories or you can say tags and now if you want to assign tag the simple way to go here in, under inventory you select your object like if I go here and uh, assign a tag then you will see only tag which is available to this object so this is virtual machine so I can see only the virtual machine uh, base tag so so if I go here now on ESXi host and click on assign tag you will see only tag which is available for uh, server so the first thing you have to be very careful while you are assigning tag uh, the associated uh, uh, what you have associated with the tag so so make sure the correct uh, uh, what you call correct object is associated with your categories and same is happening uh, so same you will get on the uh, object level assignment also so if I now go here and if you see this currently no tax is assigned so you can click on assign and then you can click let's say this is a uh, VMware Proton OS you can assign tag so you will see the tag is assigned same thing if you go here and assign tag and then if you want to assign tag let's say this is window 2019 so you got one tag assigned let's say how how you can you can also assign multiple ta multiple tags to the uh, Mm, uh, same object so if I go again in tags and let's say if we create a new tag for let's say AD so I'm going to create a uh, for virtual machine I'm going to create this just to show you uh, domain domain so let's say for this is for virtual machine I will go and put a uh, new tag for apps and so on dot lan and let's say this will go under domain and click create and now if I go here on my my tag I can assign more tags so if you see here under the tag name categories domain I got tag name labs and so on dot land so this is also what we got so basically as per your requirement you can create n number of tags and you can uh, assign tags to required virtual machine or maybe uh, the ESXi host or anything which you can see so if I go here now assign the tag for this let's say this all are Dell server so we can go ahead and assign the Dell tag so this is how you can do it manually so let's say if you have a thousands of virtual machine and if you want to assign the tags automatically what you can do you can simply go on VMware website you can get uh, um, PowerShell a script uh, easily to create a create or assign ta uh, tags manually or automated through complete automation you can provide your input file 
maybe a csv or text file and it will go ahead and create your all the tags in one go for all your environment and it can also assign the required tags in your infra infrastructure let's say related to virtual machine and anything it, it can filter the things and it can assign the tags as per your requirement so basically <coughs> you can use tag assignment uh, to achieve a lot of thing in your environment as per your requirements and all so this is how you can insert how you can create tags uh, create categories in your infrastructure and how you can assign manually and if you want to uh, do more uh, thing related to powershell you i recommend go ahead on vmware website check the powershell script and uh, use if you have a good amount of servers where you want to create tag or assign tag you can always use the powershell script uh, so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye